Howdy folks, Mitchell Kuhn here with another daily inspirational video. I'm sitting in the airport here on the way to California for work and it got me to think and seeing all these people, the book of Ecclesiastes tells us that men are beasts and we know how beasts behave. You can see wild animals that will, will tear you to pieces, but you can also think about domesticated animals like having your, your dog in your house and how loving and friendly and, and kind they can be and I just can't help it as I'm going through the airport and walking around just seeing all these well domesticated beasts just most people are pretty much behaving themselves and you say why is that well it's because they're clothed and fed and they're in a nice heated building while it's really cold outside and things are going okay I mean they've got some problems but nothing that's bad enough to make them act out and, and be act like the true beast nature that, that we all are, are born with. So I bring this up because it's very important to understand how we are all beasts at first and we will act like them under the right circumstances. This is why it's so important as followers of Christ to love your enemies because beasts can't do that. They're nice to you as long as you keep them well fed and are kind to them, but as soon as you don't love them, they will turn to tear you to pieces. And Christ tells us if you only do good to those that do good to you, what credit is, is it to you? Don't the gentles, don't, don't they do that? Don't even wild animals in the forest and in the, in the jungles do that? Absolutely. And our calling as followers of Christ is so much higher to not return evil for evil, to not revile when we're reviled, just like Christ did. And what this comes down to is really what you value. Beasts value their own life. They're all about self-preservation and protection of themselves and their immediate families. And when that's what you value above all else, you will kill and destroy and lie and cheat and do whatever it is to accomplish that goal. But when you don't love your life to the end, when you know this is a temporary vain vapor, then you still value your possessions and your diligence, but you know that you have a more enduring possession in heaven, and you will not love your life to the end. You'll be willing to lay it down and love your enemies. Let them take advantage of you and abuse you and steal your things. I mean, certainly there's a time to rebuke and correct, and a wise man sees evil coming and flees, but when it becomes obvious that you're cornered and there's no other way out, you, you love your enemies, and that's what you do. So think about that. As you walk around, just notice how well-behaved most people are most of the time, but you push them far enough and they'll snap, and, and what is in the heart of man will truly come out, and you'll see it in yourself. And until you really understand the depth of your own depravity and what you're capable of, you don't know how much you're being forgiven, nor how much you need the power of Christ bringing the Spirit of God within us to overcome our nature. Because there's just a hedge up around us all the time. The Lord is not pushing us beyond what we're able. But when he does to show us what we are, it's, it's ugly. And that's why we should pray for him to lead us not into temptation. And when we do find ourselves in temptation, pray for the power to overcome the beast, which we can't. Only Christ can overcome the beast. So, until next time, keep the faith and grace and peace to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.